This video will show you how to use the Retrospect client software and what the available options are. To get to the Retrospect client for Macintosh, you go to your System Preferences, select Retrospect Client, and then to make changes inside the Retrospect Client, you'll click on the lock and enter your password. You will then see several choices. The first option is an on-off button. If the client is set into a state of off, then it will prevent a backup from running on this machine. For backups to run, the client must be in the on position. You'll also see the IP address of this client machine. You'll also see the last backup date and the next backup date. You'll also see whether the on-demand features, such as restore on-demand, and backup on demand are available. You also have the option to show the retrospect status in the menu bar. So up here in the menu bar will show you the status of this particular retrospect client. We can go to the history tab and the history tab will show us all of our past backups, the number of files that were backed up, and it will give us the ability to restore the data if we click the restore button. We also can go to notifications and we can be notified after a backup or to be notified if there's no backup in a certain number of days. You also have the ability to report on smart disk errors. Under the privacy tab, you can exclude specific items from the backup so that they are invisible to the backup server. So if you make a decision that you do not want to backup music as an example, then you can select the music directory and then that directory will be hidden by the, to the backup server and those items will not get backed up. You can add as many items as you want to the list of exclusions. Under the schedule tab you will have the ability to delay proactive backup scripts until a certain date or time. In the menu bar you have the option such as Restore Files. If I select Restore Files, Retrospect will connect to the backup server and look for a list of files that were backed up from this machine, and then I can pick and choose which files I'd like to recover. Once you see the list of available files and folders, you can go through that list and select items that you'd like to restore, and then click Restore. You can either restore the data to the original location or you can browse and select where you would like the item to go. So if I'd like it to go to a desktop inside of a new folder called My Restore, then I can create the folder and click Restore and then you can tell it to restore the data to the My Restore folder. You also have the ability to do a backup on demand. You go to the menu at the very top of the screen and select Backup Now. You're then given the ability to select the individual items you would like to back up. You can select your entire computer, you can select documents, pictures, or pretty much anything else you would like to back up on your computer. Make your selection and then click Backup. The Retrospect application also has a set of options that are specific to the Retrospect client. So I open up Retrospect and I go to Preferences. And then I go to Clients. The first options allow you to create a public private key file that you can use as part of the installation of the Retrospect client so that all machines on the network use the same client password. You also have the ability to allow the individual users of a client to specify certain options. As an example, if you uncheck turn off the Retrospect client software, this will prevent an individual user from disabling the Retrospect client software. You can also prevent individual users from stopping running backups. You can prevent them from excluding items from a backup. 
You can prevent them from setting read access only. You can also enable the backup on demand or restore on demand options. If you choose to use backup on demand, you must first specify which media set you want to be used as part of the on demand operations. You also have the ability to set the specific options on a client by client basis. If you go to Sources and you select a client, you will find that you have all of the same options that you saw in the preferences so that you can identify specific users that may have a requirement for backup on demand features or restore on demand features that maybe other users on your network may not have. You also have the ability to enable the wake on LAN operations or to enable link encryption. 